Within the department, our orthopedic oncology specialists handle the most challenging cancer cases, giving our patients the treatment they need when they need it most. I would say the majority of our cases here are unusual and difficult, which is why they get transferred from other hospitals to ours. By their very nature, sarcomas tend to be very difficult and tend to require multimodality treatment approaches. And so, absolutely, it requires not only the surgeons, but almost always the radiation oncologists and the medical oncologists as well. The great thing about Case Medical Center and University Hospitals is that it brings together experts in all the different fields. Each week, the experts from all of the necessary fields who serve on our multidisciplinary tumor board meet to discuss in detail each patient's case. So the tumor board is an opportunity for all the different physicians who care for sarcoma patients to get together to present the patients and to each have their own input with regards to what they think would be the optimal care for that patient. It's also an opportunity for the different specialists to get together and try and come up with new and innovative ways to treat their patients. To perform the most patient-friendly and comprehensive oncological surgical procedures, University Hospital's Case Medical Center relies on one of only a few Mobitron intraoperative electron radiotherapy machines that are currently in use. Since doctors can apply this device to perform radiotherapy right in the operating room, patients don't need to be transported back and forth to a separate room to receive the radiation therapy. The Mobitron significantly reduces the chance of infection, the time a patient needs to remain under anesthesia, and the cost of the procedure. What interoperative radiation allows us to do is at the time of surgery, after the tumor has been removed, the surgeon and the radiation oncologist can work together and the surgeon can very specifically state this is an area of concern where our margin might be close, where the patient might be at risk to have a recurrence of tumor. The radiation oncologist right then and there in the operating room is able to use a very specialized machine to deliver a dose of radiation to the area of concern while at the same time we're able to protect other normal structures that we don't want to get hit by radiation. The concept of interoperative radiation isn't new, but the ability to deliver it right in the operative suite is fairly new. Our orthopedic oncology physicians do everything possible to see that a patient's lifestyle is not adversely affected by treatment. That's why they typically rely on surgical procedures that spare a cancerous limb. Certainly the majority of our patients are treated with limb sparing. Treating the tumor is very important, but you need to treat the patient and the family as well. And that includes their emotional needs and their functional needs. And quite frankly, limb sparing approaches speak to both the emotional as well as the functional. To address the potential for recurring cancer, our orthopedic oncologists provide ongoing monitoring of each patient to ensure that their treatment outcomes are as successful as possible. Our patients benefit greatly from these effective, long-term relationships with their physicians. I often tell my patients, we basically have a lifetime relationship. Initially, it has to do with the diagnosis and then with the treatment, but for sarcoma patients, the follow-up is very important. We follow those patients up by a protocol long-term. Initially, we'll follow them every few months, and then as time goes on, we follow them less and less often, but I always consider them to be my patients, and we're always alert for any possible recurrence. The orthopedic team at University Hospitals includes over 300 outstanding healthcare professionals, all dedicated to providing the highest quality care for our patients. For more information, visit our website or call us at 866-UH4CARE.